I've said it before and I'll say it again. You do not need a $1,000 or $2,000 monster gaming laptop to run games in high quality settings. All you need is a decent $300-ish dollar gaming laptop with a decent internet connection and a cloud gaming service like Shadow. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at my new favorite sub $300 laptop and how I've been using it to play all the latest titles in 1080p and high quality settings. And if you're new here and you wanna see more PC hardware or PC building videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell, that way you never miss an episode, but yeah. Let's check this thing out. All right, so to kick off this video, first I wanna quickly talk about what specific laptop I'm using today as our cloud gaming tester. This here is the Chewy Lapbook SE, which is a Chinese off-brand, but it's seriously packing some value at less than 300 bucks. Under the hood, it's rocking a quad-core Intel Apollo Lake CPU that boosts up to 2.3 gigahertz with built-in integrated graphics. There's four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 64 gigabytes of eMMC storage, which is plenty, and most importantly, there's a somewhat decent 1080p IPS display. Links to this laptop and the shadow gaming service are down in the description. Now I know a lot of people are starting to buy these cheap laptops specifically for cloud gaming, but I keep seeing people make the same mistake and that's that they're not buying a beefy enough laptop to get one with a 1080p resolution. These cloud gaming services can give you full 1080p resolution with very high quality settings. So you don't wanna be bottlenecked by your resolution. Outside of cloud gaming, which we'll get into in just a second, this $280 laptop would also be perfect if you're looking for a super portable media consumption or small office work machine as the specs are definitely capable enough for that. As far as peripherals go, lately I've been using this Bluetooth Xbox One controller and this Corsair Ironclaw RGB wireless mouse and essentially turning this into a very nice portable gaming machine. With the laptop introduction out of the way, it's now time to talk about how exactly I can stream these graphically demanding games to a budget laptop like this and that's all made possible from cloud gaming services, my favorite currently being Shadow. I've made an entire dedicated video about how Shadow works and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then I would highly recommend checking that video out there. But basically in a nutshell, you're leveraging a super high-end gaming computer that's in the cloud and streaming that to your own device through the internet. These new cloud gaming services are possibly the future of gaming in general, which I'm personally not that thrilled about. But here in 2019, where the technology is still pretty new, I do have to say that I'm very impressed with how well this was running. As you can see here, this laptop without cloud gaming would probably not even be able to fire up an intense game like Forza Horizon 4. But here with Shadow, it's running silky smooth. All of the cloud services are different and some of them are geared more towards gaming such as Nvidia's GeForce Now. I also have a video about that up here. But the really cool thing about Shadow is that you're basically renting your very own virtual machine so you can kind of do almost whatever you want with it. This allows you to not only game with high quality settings on super budget laptops like this Chewy, but it also allows you to do other heavy performance tasks such as photo and video editing and I've actually been taking advantage of this more and more. One of my favorite parts about Shadow is that you can actually set the app to all always run in full screen and then it doesn't even feel like you're using an application and it kind of just feels like the native desktop on your budget laptop. Moving on to the performance, I know a lot of you are wondering just how far you can take this service so of course I benchmark this thing a bit for you guys. The first game up is Destiny 2 and here with the highest quality settings in 1080p I was getting around 60 to 65 FPS which was right on the money. Keep in mind that for super fast twitchy shooters like this you're definitely going to be more limited by the slight amount of lag depending on your internet connection but for casual scrubs like like me, this was super fun and a very smooth playing experience. After that, I benchmarked Rocket League because that's one of my main laptop controller games. And here I had the game in 1080p and very high quality settings. And I was getting anywhere from 110 to 150 FPS while playing an online match. And finally, I benchmarked this system with 3D Mark just so you can compare it to your own gaming PC. And with the Time Spy DirectX 12 benchmark, I got a score of 5,330. And finally, the last benchmark I ran was for the internet speed. Now keep in mind that this is the internet speed from the internet to your shadow virtual machine, this has no effect between you and shadow. And I was getting around one gigabit download speeds, which is pretty insane. Being able to download at gigabit speeds allows you to download whatever games and applications you want super quickly. And I also really enjoy it because Windows updating doesn't take long either. And finally, for the last part of this video, I wanted to talk about what my day in the life is actually like using a $300 laptop with a cloud service like shadow, because I'm not just using this setup purely for this video. One of my favorite things to do now is gaming on the go. And by on the go, I really just mean upstairs in the bedroom or living room where I don't have a gaming PC. 
yet. I also have NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed on my Shadow PC so that I can record my gameplay footage and then that footage is automatically sent to my Google Drive folder so that I can access and use that footage on my main gaming PC which is pretty neat. Another thing that I've been doing with this setup is photo editing and video editing. Now honestly I'm not going to sit down for hours at a time and edit off a 13 inch display but if I want to edit a couple videos before bed then this setup has been perfect for that. One final shadow feature that I've been taking advantage of is the ability to open up my virtual machine on all my devices. It's super easy to seamlessly switch between my laptop and main PC and that really comes in handy. So there you guys have it. That's what my thoughts are on this sub $300 Chewy laptop with a cloud gaming service like Shadow. I hope this video got my point across loud and clear that you don't need a super high end PC to get some high quality gaming done, but just remember you need a somewhat decent internet connection for this to work. Link to everything that I talked about today will be linked down in the description and don't forget to use discount code ZTT to save 10 bucks off your first month of Shadow. Well there you have it, that wraps up my review on using this sub $300 Chewy laptop with a cloud gaming service like Shadow. As always, drop a comment down below about what your thoughts are on cloud gaming here in 2019 or if you've tried any of the other services so far. After that, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet and definitely hit that subscribe button because coming up next, we're going to talk about some peripherals. You don't want to miss that video.